Let's talk about all the latest news regarding AEW Fight Forever, including it being a games as a service and what that means, its release date, all 26 of the confirmed wrestlers, and a list of wrestlers you should expect to be missing at launch. I recently made a video listing five reasons why you should be very excited for AEW Fight Forever. Check that video out after this one. I'll link it at the end of this video. I must admit, I'm bummed that this game missed a holiday release for this year. I was really looking forward to reliving my WCW NWO Revenge memories while my brothers are in town for Christmas by playing AEW Fight Forever. I guess I might just have to dig out the old Nintendo 64. Either way, in a recent interview, it has been announced that the game is going to use the Games as a Service model. What that means is unlike the annual 2K games WWE comes out with, AEW Fight Forever is the only game they plan on releasing for the foreseeable future, and they will continually update the game with DLC. As I mentioned in my other video, I could see this being a good thing or a bad thing depending on how THQ monetizes this. How much are they going to expect us to pay for a group of wrestlers? How often are the updates going to come? Will getting all the updates in a year end up costing more than the original cost of the game? Time will tell. Also, while graphics are not everything, this game definitely has a last-gen look to it, and will PS5 and Series X users still accept this presentation three years down the line when WWE will probably be offering a more photorealistic look? According to Cultaholic, a release date of February 7th looks likely. I think it'll be very important for this game to hit this release date because I could see this game being completely forgotten if it releases after WWE 2K. Next, it has been revealed that the initial roster will only have around 50 wrestlers. They've already confirmed 26, including AEW staples like Kenny Omega, John Moxley, and current AEW champion MJF. There will also be a few recently released wrestlers in Cody Rhodes and CM Punk, as well as a couple of legends in The Big Show, Owen Hart, and my first selection when I play this game the first time, Sting. Other confirmed wrestlers are Abandon, Adam Cole, Adam Page, Brian Danielson, Chris Jericho, Darby Allen, Britt Baker, Jade Cargill, John Moxley, Jungle Boy, Chris Statlander, MJF, Nyla Rose, Orange Cassidy, Owen Hart, Pentagon, Thunder Rosa. Now, let's see if we can figure out 24 other wrestlers that will make the day one version of AEW Fight Forever. First, it's been reported that two of AEW's top tag teams, The Revival and The Acclaimed, are not going to be in this game. I think that's a pretty big miss. So here's my predictions for the final 24 spots. The Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson, Wardlow, Alistair Black, Ricky Starks, Daniel Garcia, Powerhouse Hobbs, Ethan Page, Red Velvet, Serena Deeb, Jake Hager, Jamie Hayter, Matt Hardy, Mero, Dustin Rhodes, Pac, Ray Phoenix, Eddie Kingston, Sammy Guevara, Mark Henry, Brody Lee, William Regal, and Christian Cage. If this is the 50-person roster, put in the comments who you're going to play as the first time you boot up AEW Fight Forever. For the latest news in AEW Fight Forever, the Nintendo Switch, all done with a Christian slant, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. You're a champion. Your best days are ahead of you. God bless.